Welcome back, everybody. You are watching the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase right here on NorCal Sports TV. The Dominican Penguins and the Biola Eagles getting ready. We're finally, well, not finally, but we are at the final game of the day, Ethan. The final matchup, Dominican comes in 2-0. They beat NDNU 6-4. They beat Concordia 6-4. Biola comes in 0-2. They lost to Concordia 10-2, lost to Notre Dame 9-4. Penguins in the white jerseys and black shorts Biola in the red jerseys and black shorts you got a 2-0 team against an 0-2 team and Penguins on their home field here at Kennelly Field on the beautiful campus of Dominican University of California well Dominican opened it up and it's fitting that they finish it and Biola has looked like the least performing team today goal differential of 19 to 6 Dominican Goal differential of 12 to 8. Dominican specialty confusing the defense. That's what helped them, especially Garrett Teagarden, who has had a fantastic day. He'll shoot it from anywhere. He's definitely the wild card for the Penguins. And it's going to be Caleb Koopman still in goal for Biola. And you know, Coach Sammy for Dominican has been here on the field all day. He's been watching this Biola team. And the one place that Koopman really struggles is goals or shots that go below his waist. He started getting better towards the end of the second game that he played, but still giving up nine goals on one hop shots. Not a pretty look. It's really not a pretty look. And as both teams are lined up on the field right now and getting ready to go, as Koopman and Cable will head back to their respective goals. And I tell you what, Ethan, this is going to either be firing on all cylinders right away or the Penguins are going to have to grind this one out. Well, the Penguins started off, well, they start off fast pretty much. They started lead, they er, led early against Notre Dame, 5-1. to one. They led early against Concordia, 3-1. to one. So they get off to fast starts. It's just, can they close before the other team climbs right back in it? Second half, really, for the Penguins. And up there for Dominican, for the faceoff, Charles Daniels. And for Biola, Garrett Scannell. We're about ready to get it away. Final game of the day. Daniels wins it right away. No contest as it seemed. He flicks it back to Harrison Ray. Penguins moving from our right to left, attacking the southern end of Kennelly Field as the clock rolls in 20-minute halves, of course, as we have just begun half number one. Far sideline. Penguins have it offensively now. Coming near with it, that's Jake Oob. Right to Harrison Ray. Harrison Ray working on Harrison Langer. So Harrison on Harrison, and right away a goal for the Penguins. That is scored by Eric Garcia, and he goes top shelf. And the one place that the keeper, Caleb Koopman, has been very good today. Has been up and away, but uh, Langer, good flow on that man. But in the end, Eric Garcia got the score. Garcia gives the Penguins a one nothing lead. Yeah, how about we got a couple of flows right here. Here's Langer and Becker side by <laughs> side. They look like they could be brothers. 
All that blonde flow coming off the back. <laughs> hey, getting ready for another face-off. Scannell and Daniels. Scannell for Biola, Daniels for Dominican. Daniels won the first face-off. Flicked it right back to Harrison Ray right away. We'll see what both sides do with it. Actually, it's not Scannell on the face-off. That's Tanner Myatt. So we've seen Myatt and Scannell on face-offs for Biola today. Dominican 2-0, and, oh, and Daniels won the faceoff initially. Referee blows his whistle, and he'll give possession back to Dominican. Here goes Nick Becker. Oh, and look at now we got flow on flow. <laughs> <laughs> Dominican attacking offensively. Far side. Penguins have it. Moving it up top. That's James Walker. James Walker working on Tanner Myatt, far side. Walker looking for a seam. He finds one. Walker in toward the crease. Walker passes it behind the net. And a pass inside. It was intended for Charles Hurst. Goes across. Walker will have possession once again. Nick Becker straight away. Big Beck as they call him. And <laughs> Beck's pretty big at six foot three. Shot from the middle, finds the top shelf. <laughs> Jonathan Hicks from way downtown finds the top shelf right over the right shoulder of Caleb Koopman, 2 nothing. Wow. Caleb Koopman now having trouble with the upper deck, and wow, I can't say enough about that goal. That was absolutely fantastic to watch. Not only that, but he was super hyped after the fact. Jonathan Hicks from deep. Hicks and Garcia have both scored. And Dominican, fast start, Ethan, like we've seen from them all day today. Concordia, in their game just before this against Notre Dame, went off to a fast start, and they kept the pressure on, winning that game 12-3. We'll see if Dominican can do the same as it's knocked away. That was Michael Howard for Biola, knocked away. Back the other way goes Hurst. Hurst on the near sideline. Gives it to Dealey behind the cage. Pass up towards us here on Media Row. That's Fleming Anderson. Coach Sammy has a few new names in there here in this game against Biola, and his Penguins are leading 2 0. Here's Anderson once again working on a defender. Anderson left side of the cage. Backs it out and gives it back to Hurst. They flip the field now, far side, working in. The shot is in. Another goal, this time by Jake Oob. 3 nothing. Well, Dominican came out guns a-blazing. Biola had very little to no success against their first two opponents. And now Dominican just looking definitely like the better team of the day. Oh, boy. We were wondering. Concordia came out with a strong performance against NDNU to finish the day 2-1. and one. Concordia making a strong claim to say, hey, you know what? I know Dominican's unbeaten, but we're pretty good too. And Dominican's saying, are you sure about that? Because we're uh, just over four minutes into the game and lead by only 3 nothing. Face off right at midfield. As our official sets the ball right on that white stripe. Setting the crosses. Blows the whistle. Face off is won again by Charles Daniels. Charles Daniels, very effective in faceoffs, and Biola, by far the least effective team that we've seen in faceoffs today. Here's Nick Becker near side. He finds Hurst. Hurst back behind the goal. Gives it off to Daly. Dominican resetting up their offense from the top now. That's Jensen Lewins. Here's Becker once again. Becker gives it off. Lewins right side. Lewins takes a shot. That's why. He had a nice look, just missed it left. But Ethan, when you look at this Dominican roster, look at how many freshmen, half the team are freshmen. And a lot of names that we've called today. And that's something that we see a lot from Dominican sports, a very young programs across the board and with half of the team being freshmen and performing so well today it's actually a very positive sign here's Lewins again right side of the cage trying to find a crease he can't another shot there it is backed out took a shot another goal it's four nothing from the right side once again 
Fresh legs are going to come on for Coach Sammy as his Dominican Penguins have taken a 4-0 lead over Biola. We're just over six minutes in. Goal per minute ratio, Ethan. <laughs> heavily favoring Dominican right now here in their final game. Dominican showing why they're still undefeated. Strong offensive play. Biola, I don't even think, have had an opportunity in their attacking half. They have not had the ball in the Dominican half yet. Noah Swigert against Tanner Myatt. The faceoff, Swigert wins it. Ball's loose. Swigert picks it up. Biola has not had a possession on the half of Dominican. Almost seven minutes have gone by, and well, Dominican's been patrolling the southern end of Kennelly Field as the pass is out of bounds. And well, that pass from Dominican's Adam Daly. And well, after that pass, Ethan, I don't know if you saw that, or if you're watching on NorCal Sports TV. After that pass, Daly did some push-ups. It was a bad pass. He drops to the turf, gives five push-ups, and then gets right back up. Well, whatever gets you refocused. And they need to refocus fast with Dominican looking to pull away. Here's James Walker for Dominican. Right here on the near sideline. Walker gives way to Connor Vilter. They flip the field now far side. Mateo Tolisi loses it initially. Now... Back on the attack, Tulsi straight away. Tulsi takes a shot, one hop, and that is saved. And that's the first one hopper that Caleb Koopman has saved today. One thing that I've noticed from Caleb Koopman, he doesn't have a lot of footwork. He's very statue-like in the cage. Being pushed down on the near side. Here's Langer. Still trying to get it across to the Dominican half. They finally do a stick check. It's knocked free, and just like that, DU has possession again. That's Walker. Flags fly everywhere. I believe there's going to be a cross check. That should give Biola possession. 11.40 to go here in the first half. Dominican leads 4-0 over Biola. Looks like they are going to give Biola possession. They've had a total of about Seven seconds in the attacking half so far. About a minute has gone by. Ball's up by midfield. Nobody knew it. Now running back to retrieve it's Colin Hardy. We'll resume play 11 minutes exactly to go here in the first half. Hardy near side. Biola finally on offense. Behind the cage, that's Jacob Newport, far side, now straight back, straight away, Colin Hardy once again. Just working their way around the cage, good defense by Dominican so far. Far side, pass into the middle, and it is overshot, out of bounds. Off the near sideline, it'll be Dominican possession with 10 and a half to go. And that's what's hurt Viola all day today is simple passing mistakes, not keeping themselves composed to make accurate passes, instead just letting it fly. Here's Beck once again. Nick Becker. Left side. He finds Hurst. Dominican not as aggressive on this offensive possession, Ethan. Not really forcing the issue uh, like they were earlier. Yeah, that's one thing that I don't like that Dominican does. Once they get a comfortable lead, they just relax. They play back instead of putting the pressure like Concordia Irvine did against Biola, like Notre Dame Dana Moore did against Biola. Here's Nahidi behind the cage, deflected away. And Biola now pushing up toward midfield. On the near side, pass intended for Colin Hardy, and he goes out of bounds. Harrison Ray will bring it in. Concordia making their way off the field. Not that they were on the field of play, but they were over in the corner after their three games. They're done for the day. This is the final game of the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase right here on NorCal Sports TV. Pass behind the cage. That was intended for Adam Dealey. It goes out of bounds by Ola Ball. Yep, after that poor pass, Nahidi did some push-ups of his own. Yeah, it must be a thing. 
Here's Biola. Trying to get up into the offensive half of Dominican. Pass intended for Michael Howard going down the far sideline, and it will go out of bounds. It'll be Dominican possession. It was last touch of a stick from Biola. Robert Sauter will bring it in. Up to Harrison Ray. Harrison Ray on the near side trying to be pushed out. Unsuccessful was Jacob Newport. Here's Ray, left side, gets a screen from Becker. Ray has a wide open look, and he shoots high, and it is saved by Caleb Koopman. Interesting decision right there by Ray, knowing Newport, I mean, knowing Koopman has had trouble with the one-hop shots, deciding to go for the upper shelf. Yeah, historically here today, at least, he's had trouble with the one-hop shots, and three goals for Dominican so far have come upper shelf. So Harrison Ray may be thinking, you know what, we've got three by him so far. Dominican with a 4 nothing lead. And boy, did Ray have a wide open look. Here's Biola on the attack. Howard, Langer, near side, working on Ray. Langer makes a mission initially, and then Ray knocks it loose. Langer picks it back up. Looking for a teammate. That's Newport. Newport forced away from the cage. Good defense by Dominican. Ball is loose, and Biola player knocked to the turf. That is Jonathan Shaw, who was checked hard hitting the turf. Dominican now pushing offensively. Very close to going offside here for Biola. That was Joshua Choi. He's able to stay on his own side. Dominican deep in their attacking half. Seven minutes to go, everybody. 4 nothing, Dominican. Dominican playing very patient. 50 seconds on the shot clock and just under six minutes, just under seven minutes in the first half. Far side for DU. That's Fleming Anderson. Back behind the cage now, Adam Daly with it. Approaching six and a half minutes to go. Here's Daly. The shot is no good. Just too wide. Came from behind the cage to the near side. Shot goes out across the far sideline. Dominican is the closest to it and will maintain possession. Anderson. Far side. Working on Howard. He gets by Howard. Now Howard forces him behind the cage. Pass up to Nick Becker. Becker finds Daly. Daly one on one. A lot of stick checking going on. Daly getting checked. Daly toward the crease. Daly reaches in and Daly scores. Great job by Daly staying in there. A lot of stick checks going his way, but he hung in there and made a nice shot to widen the margin of lead. A lot of checking going on. Daly fought through it. And he extends the lead to 5 0. Five and a half minutes to go, everybody, in the first half. Game six, final game of the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase. You're watching on NorCal Sports TV. Charles Daniels ready for the faceoff for Dominican. It looks like Garen Scannell. For Biola. Referee blows his whistle. It is Scannell, and the faceoff is won by Daniels. Dominican pushing on offense. That's Jonathan Hicks. He's already scored in this game. Dominican with it behind the cage. Now back to Hicks. Swinging it to the far side. That's Lewins. Lewins can't find an opening. He gives it off. The shot is high. That shot taken by Charles Hurst. Dominican keeps possession with 425 left in the first half. Interesting decision right here by Dominican. They seem to be attacking Koopman on the upper shelf. and yeah. They're starting to exploit another weakness that Koopman has in his game. Seems like the only weakness he had was that those one hoppers down below the waist, and four of the five goals have come up or shell. There's Jensen Lewins 
Spins around a man, makes a miss in toward the crease. Pass is deflected away. Still rolling, picked up and shot. That was Zach Lentz. Looked like he had a little bit of daylight for a shot, and he missed wide left. Dominican keeps possession. Nahidi. Pass into the middle. Knocked away, picked up by Biola. Now knocked free and picked back up. Now still loose. A lot of sticking, stick checking going on and stick waving. Picked up. Hurst. Now behind the cage, whistles are blown. And they're going to give possession to Biola. Looked like the referee called a holding. Three minutes and 15 seconds left in the first half. Biola launches it downfield. Now on the attack. Scannell, right side. Scannell into the middle. Pass. Shot. Too high. That was Joshua Choi. Choi had a clean look out of the middle. Just a bit too high. Best opportunity for Biola in this game. Biola, not a lot of opportunities. Yeah, there's another shot. And that one is good this time from Joshua Choi. Right side. Pass came from behind the cage. Joshua Choi on one hop. That's a first goal for Biola, and it's 5-1. to one. Dominican and Nathan Cable. Well, they're human, apparently, as it's 5-1 with two and a half minutes to go. New man in for the faceoff. That's Noah Swigert, his second faceoff of the game. Swigert won the first faceoff that he participated in. Going up against Scannell. Swigert wins this one as well. Flicks it back to Harrison Ray. Harrison Ray at the far side. Two minutes here in the first half. 5-1 DU. Ray into the middle. Ray looking for a man. Tries to make his man miss. Ray shoots and he scores. Harrison Ray with a goal for DU and it's 6-1. Got that goal right back. Margin of lead now back to five. It was 5 nothing at one point, and just as you said, the lead's back to 5, and the score is 6-1. to one. minute and a half to go. Approaching the end of the first half. Charles Daniels back out for the faceoff against Garrett Scannell. Penguins sideline, cheering for Charles Daniels. He wins it. He blows right by his man. Here goes Charles Daniels down the middle, tries to pass it off, loses it initially. Finally does get the pass over to Hurst, who takes a shot. And Dominican scores once again. Another goal, and it's 7-1. Now Dominican starting to push on the gas, 7-1. Margin of lead now down to six. Charles Daniels has been very effective today for Dominican, not only in the face-offs, but you saw right there a nice pass to give Dominican a scoring opportunity. Charles Daniels relieved of his face-off duties. Noah Swigert. Back out for his third face-off of the game. He'll face off against Tanner Myatt. 7-1, 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Final game of the day. Dominican 2-0. Biola 0-2. Swigert wins the face off and with seven seconds to go we'll see if Dominican will put another shot on goal moving in and it's knocked away by the defense and the horn will sound and that is it for the first half Dominican seven Biola one and Dominican dominant here at half number one just like we saw in the last game between NDNU and Concordia Irvine Irvine definitely the dominating force there in, there in the first half, and Dominican showing they're undefeated for a reason. And an 0 2 team like Biola, you got to come at us with your best. Now leading that six by the half. 7 1 at the half, Dominican over Biola. You're watching the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase right here on No Carol Sports TV. We'll be back for the second half after this.
All right, welcome back, everybody. You're watching the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase right here on NorCal Sports TV. We apologize for the technical difficulties, but since then they have been resolved. We have 15-20 left to go here in the second half. Ethan Estrada, Forest Hunt, 7-1 Dominican. And thankfully you haven't missed any action yet. Just a bunch of like, ball movement going around. And it has a shot taken by Dominican. Of course, the Penguins are moving from our left to right, and the Penguins will have it behind the cage. That penguin shot stuck right in the fence. It's still there. <laughs> oh, I see it now in the top of the fence. It's stuck. Well, the penguins are on offense. That's Nick Becker. 7-1 to one with 14.50 left. Final game of the day. Dominican is 2-0. They won both their games 6-4. Well, that's not going to happen as they've already scored seven here. And this one against Biola. And Biola 0-2. Oh Dominican behind the cage. That's James Walker. Walker looking for an open penguin. He finds one. Working in toward the crease. That's Nahidi. Nahidi's pass out wide. Picked up by Dominican. That's Dehealy. Dehealy's shot is low and wide. It'll go out. And possession will stay with Dominican. Penguins definitely the dominating force today. Leading 7-1 to one and maintaining a lot of possession, especially in their attacking half. Here's Nick Becker working around the crease from behind the canes to in front. His pass goes to James Walker, back to Becker. And the whistle is blown. And the shot clock hits zero. And that'll be a turnover. Possession goes to Biola deep in their own half. That's Josh Bernstein. And Dominican can afford wasting the shot clock. You're up by six goals. And a team that's only scored about six goals the, the entire day so far. So you can afford a couple shot clock violations. Aaron pass into the middle. That's picked up by Zach Lentz in the golden white for Dominican. His pass goes out of bounds and gives it right back to Biola. 13-15 left to go in the game. Well, one thing Dominican can do is get too comfortable and allow open windows for Biola to crawl their way back into it. Yeah, they had a 5-1 lead against Notre Dame Dane and more way back at 10 a.m. this morning. That game ended up 6-4. They kind of opened the door for Notre Dame there. Don't want to do the same here. We're under 13 minutes left. Empty net for Biola right now as the keeper, Caleb Koopman, has come way out. And here goes Lentz on the attack. Lentz gets his stick slapped as he passes it over toward the middle. That's Nahidi, far side for Dominican. Justin Fox in. Justin Fox gives it to Lentz right in the middle. Nick Becker near side waiting for fresh legs to jog on. That's Jensen Lewins. Now they'll flip the field and go two Lewins on the far side. Lewins back to Lentz, back to Becker. Becker attacking now near side. From the right, his shot is deflected off the cross of Garrison Thompson. Almost an own goal there. Very scary moment. The deflection uh, it looked like Caleb Koopman wasn't ready for that. Luckily, he got his cross down just in time to keep it from rolling over the line. We're under 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Dominican with possession on the far side. That's Harrison Ray directing traffic. Harrison Ray comes near side to Lewins. Back to Ray. Far sideline, Nahidi. Nahidi trying to create some pressure now. His shot was deflected, and the ball rolls behind the goal. And it's picked up by DU, coming around the cage, and shooting was Adam Dealey. The shot is wide across the far sideline. 
11.20 left in this second half. Nick Becker on the far sideline. Penguins really slowing things down. Lewins and Harrison Ray playing catch back and forth. Now Charles Hurst. Hurst inside. Shot. That is a goal. Another one by Adam Dealey. And it's 8-1. to one. Yep, Dominican, that's what they need to do. They need to keep their foot on the pedal and not open up small windows enough for Biola to crawl their self, crawl their way back into this. Dominican needs to do what Concordia Irvine did and what Notre Dame Dana Moore did against Biola and not give in. Biola lost that first game to Concordia Irvine 10-2 and then lost to Notre Dame 9-4. Dominican, of course, won both their games 6-4. Now leading Biola 8-1 with 10 and a half minutes to go. We get ready for a faceoff. Tanner might for Biola. Getting ready to face off. As our official sets the ball on the white line. Blows his whistle and here we go. That's Noah Swigert for Dominican who won the faceoff. Here he goes across midfield. Swigert pushing up. Now backing away, the Biola defender stick checking. That was Colin Hardy with the hard stick check on Noah Swigert. Far side, trying to get pressure inside. That's Jonathan Hicks. He goes behind the cage. Pass goes to Nahidi. Nahidi near side. Straight away, Mateo Toa C. Cannot control it. Now picks the ball up off the turf. Charles Hurst straight away looking for a shot can't find an opening he comes near side to Jake Oob Oob working on a defender Oob backs it off Oob now with the ball once again and he goes behind the goal that's Nahidi Nahidi to the far side D really slowing things down as we approach nine minutes remaining pass inside intended for Iman Nahidi, Bihan and Iman Nahidi both on the field right now. The pass goes out of bounds, Biola with possession. But the thing Dominican did good there was they ate up a lot of the shot clock, only 15 seconds left uh, when it came to that bad pass. And when you're up by seven goals, you can afford a couple shot clock violations. Here's Koopman out of the cage. He better get back as Dominican has it right in the middle of the field. That's James Essex. Essex near side. Now slowing things down. They're really, I think, going to milk the shot clock, Ethan, as the new 80-second shot clock rule. 8-10 left to go in the game. 8-1 DU over Biola. Far side trying to make a man miss. Shot on goal, and that is too far. That was Fleming Anderson. As it goes out, Dominican maintains possession. Anderson straight away tries to corral a bad pass. He can't do it. That's going to be offside. Offside on Jeff Farley gives Biola possession. Approaching seven and a half minutes. DU eight, Biola one. Here on NorCal Sports TV, West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase. As our officials are going to discuss that play, Ethan. And all that's doing is chewing time off the clock. Yeah, and that's all Dominican wants at this point. They just want the clock to wind down. You're up by seven goals with a little over seven minutes left. And when it looks like the victory's in hand and it looks like they might move on to 3-0, and I mean, Biola can shock everybody watching right now and mount a huge comeback. They have goal-scoring capability just they need to have more opportunities. That's right. They haven't had many opportunities on the attacking side. Here they go on the attacking side as the clock rolls under seven minutes. Really just spreading the ball out, spreading everybody out and moving the ball around very nicely. A lot of stick checking going on on the defensive side for Dominican. That's Noah Swigert laying the stick on Biola. The shot goes in and out. A one-hop. Shot attempt from Jonathan Shaw. Too far. Biola has it on the far side. 
Six and a half minutes. 8-1 DU. Behind the cage now is Shaw. Pass intended for Cole Baker. Dropped it initially, then picked it back up. Garrett Scannell with it now. Mateo Tolisi on defense, six minutes exactly. Shot in, and that is scooped up by Nathan Cable. Cable's played relatively well today. He's given up four goals in back-to-back -back games, but his offense taking a lot of the pressure off of him by maintaining possession in both our games against Concordia Irvine and Notre Dame, Dana Moore. Mateo Tolisi goes down the far sideline, now slows up and gives it back to James Walker. Walker dumps it off. That's Jensen Lewin. Walker and Lewins just checked into the game for Coach Sammy for Dominican. Here goes Walker, puts a shoulder into his man. The shot attempt. No, oh, pass inside. And what a pass. That's a goal for Dominican. Another goal scored. That's Iman Nahidi. And he makes it 9 1. Well, that was a brother to brother goal, just like a couple of our colleagues in the next of us were saying. 9 to 1. Now the Penguins leading the Eagles. And, well,. They look like the best team today. Yeah, from one Nahidi to another. 9-1 Dominican. Going back out onto the field, Charles Daniels, the freshman, for the faceoff against the junior for Biola, Garrett Scannell. Daniels has had a lot of success on faceoff so far. Four minutes, 40 seconds to go. The official sets the ball on the stripe, and here we go. Daniels wins another faceoff as he flicks it back to Zach Lentz. Lentz across the midfield stripe. Pass over near side. That's behind the Heedy. Behind the cage now, Adam Daly. And I think that's what's hurt Biola a lot today. Not only have they had few opportunities, because in their opportunities, their offense looks rather good, and they score quite a bit on their opportunities. It's just... Faceoffs kill them. They've won very few. They've only won two in the last two games combined. And you're not going to get a lot of goal scoring opportunities when you don't win the initial faceoff. 350 left in the game, 9 1. Reminder you've been watching the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase on NorCal Sports TV. This game, 6 of 6. The shot by Zach Lentz is wide right. Goes out of play. DU will keep possession. That's Iman Nahidi. Nahidi brings it in. He'll pass it off to Daly. Dominican with it straight away. Now they go far side. Pressuring in. Lentz spins around a man. Can't find an opening. Lentz settling things down. Now comes near side. That's Fleming Anderson. Anderson working one-on-one. -on -one. Anderson tries to pressure. He drops the ball, and it's picked up by Biola. That's Tanner Myatt. He loses it. Lentz picks it back up, and Lentz scores. First time Dominican has reached double digits here this afternoon. They lead 10-1. So right when you thought Tanner Myatt had taken it away, he tried scooping it up. It was loose. Lentz picks it up, and he scored. Well, Dominican is showing that today they are the better team. They're the best team of the tournament so far. We thought that was Concordia when they faced off Biola early on today, and they did beat a pretty good Notre Dame Dana Moore team pretty well, but Dominican, of course, having the tiebreaker in terms of that they beat Concordia, Irvine, 6-4, to four, so Dominican might as well be the most impressive team we've seen today. Dominican trying to stay unbeaten, and it looks as if they will stay unbeaten. 2-10 left in a 10-1 lead. That faceoff is won by Dominican. That's Noah who won the faceoff. Noah Swigert took a shot. It was deflected. Now Noah Swigert picks it back up. Right side of the cage. Dominican with it. Now working it back straight away. Dumped off for Nick Becker. One minute and 40 seconds left. Coming back in for DU, Jensen Lewins, he has it. Flips the field far side. Pressuring in. Connor Vilter, Vilter loses the handle on it. 
Ball is loose. It's scooped up by Biola, streaking down the far sideline with a minute and 20 to go. Baker bringing it up the far sideline for Biola. Shot is one hop over the cage. That shot attempt by Joshua Choi. Now some pushing and shoving behind the cage. Biola will maintain possession in 61 seconds left. All Dominican needs to do is get the ball back and they could run out the clock with the shot clock. There's a shot over the head of Nathan Cable. Possession will stay with Biola, 50 seconds to go. 10-1 Dominican. Whistle sounds. Dominican with the ball. Here's Becker, and just like you said, Ethan, all he needs to do is hold on to it. 32 seconds left, and we saw Becker do this at the end of the first game. Scored with four seconds to go. So Becker not afraid to pressure, even though he and his team are up 10-1. to 1. Now he backs off, and it looks like DU's just going to hold on to it. 10-1. Dominican. Nick Becker milking the last 10 seconds. Now he hands it off down in the far corner, Adam Dealey. Working behind the cage, the horn will sound and that will do it. Dominican wins 10-1 over Biola and finish the day 3-0. Dominican definitely looked like the best team today. It initially looked like it was going to be Concordia after they dominated Biola, but after Dominican took care of business and kept Biola to less goals than what Concordia did, and not only that, but put up double digits, well, Dominican has to be the best team of the day, running the gauntlet. 10-1 final. Dominican beat Notre Dame this morning 6-4. Then they beat Concordia 6-4. And Dominican beats Biola 10-1. Here in the final game of the day, Dominican, the only unbeaten team, Concordia, goes 2-1. Notre Dame 1-2. And, and Biola goes 0-3. You've been watching the West Coast Private University Lacrosse Showcase right here on NorCal Sports TV.